All right, hey families, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, kids, we're glad to have you with us today too. We're just gonna show you what a bit of our family Bible time looks like. Parents, again, when you do this, just remember, set those realistic expectations. Sometimes you will make it through it, other times you won't. We'll see how we do today. We're just gonna walk you through what we do. Uh, but first, what we wanna do is we wanna teach you a song. So we're gonna stand up and we're gonna do our song. Okay, you ready? Okay, yeah. right here. Yeah. All right, ready? Ready? Come here. Say, now, 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 it's time, time to worship you. Read your Bible, pray and praise. That's what we will do. Hey! All right. So, thanks for that, bud. Uh, let's go get your worship kit. Okay, how about Jericho's Falling Walls? Ooh, that's a good one. Ready? The gates of Jericho were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go in or out. Mm. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jer Jericho, its king, and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Oh, ready? Yeah. Here, Here ready? look, we're gonna do something. Get your fingers. We're gonna march around the wall. Ready? March, 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 Ready? Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times with the priests blowing the horns. Ready, let's count to seven. Can we count to seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horn, have all the people shout as loud as they can. You ready to shout? Yeah. What, do you want to, what do you think we should do? Should what do you want to shout? Should we shout, hey? No. Nobody. What should we shout? My teeth. Me. Tea. Tea. Me. Okay. Ready, sissy? One, two, three. Hey! Hey! <laughs> then the walls of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into the town. That's right. Good job. When the people heard the sound of the ram's horn, they shouted as loud as they could. Hey! Suddenly, the walls of Jericho collapsed, Whoa. and the Israelites charged straight into the town and captured it. Okay, here's our last one. Ready? Stand up straight like a wall, then fall to the ground. Ready? Right, stand up, stand up straight. Sure. Stand up straight to the wall. And for straight. Stand up straight. My head's getting cut off. Ready? Now, fall down. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's uh, do that again. Huh? Do we have any questions or anything today? Yeah. Right, come back over. Come here, Timothy. Come here. We got some questions that we're going to do. Okay, so here's our question. Ready? What do you need God's help with right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To help him make me happy. Being happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Hey. What else? And also praying for him. We need help him. praying. Okay. And helping others for him. Ooh, that's, oh, that's a really good, good one. God's helping help others. Help others. So just, here's your next question. Ready? <laughs> when is it hard for you to obey? Do you know what obey means? What? Listen. Like to mommy and daddy, or to your teachers, or to my mom and grandma. When is that hard? Uh, sometimes tomorrow or today, or mm, I don't know. 
Do you think it's hard to listen to mommy and daddy when you are playing with your friends and you don't want to stop playing? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like when we say it's time to clean up and you're like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, that's hard sometimes, isn't it? The story that we read, they had a hard time obeying because they thought that what they were supposed to do seemed kind of silly. But when they did it, God, God came through and gave them what they needed. Third one? Alright. Yeah. Sometimes All right. I have a hard no, time listening to Mama. Shoot. Cupping your hand around your mouth. Well, I always listen to my teacher. Hey. I know you always listen yeah, to Yeah, I know, teacher. and you always listen to Shannon. Almost always listen to Shannon. So, hey, you want to do that one? Sure. Okay, so this one, it says praise parade. All right, we're going to make a horn cupping our hands. And every time this week that we see God, no. something amazing that God does, we're going to blow our horn. You want to learn how to blow a horn with your hands? Okay, you want to blow a horn? Ready? Okay. You ready to say our prayer? Yeah, why don't we? Here, come here, Sissy. We're going to say our prayer. Come here, Sissy. Let's come say our prayer. And then we'll do our song. Okay. Okay, come here. Okay. Now, 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 sign. We're going to do our song right, from BTS yeah. after this. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to sit and pray. Come here. Okay, can you fold your hands? Yeah. Say, okay. Okay. Sit up. Say, dear God, dear God, you did an amazing thing. You did an amazing thing. When your people obeyed you. When your people obeyed you. And you made those walls fall down. And, and you made, made those walls fall down. down. Thank you for doing. Thank you for doing. Thank you for doing. Amazing things for us. Amazing, amazing things, things for, for us. When we obey you too. When we, we obey you too. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good right. job. Want to do a song? Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you again for joining my family and I during our worship time today. As you can see, pretty short and sweet. It takes on different shapes and sizes and forms depending on the day. Today was a pretty good day for us, uh, but there's some days that we just don't make it through because either the kids aren't feeling it or um, focus just isn't there, but we do our best and we just go as we can, right? Um, you saw we we have our worship kits in a place that our kids can easily get to it um, it's something that they can play with whenever they want we encourage that it's it's just a way for them to be engaged in worship on their own even outside of our family worship time together uh, so i encourage you guys to do that find a special place for your worship kit and make it something that they are responsible to get and then uh, when you finish up, have them put it away. That's that sign that worship time is over. Um, again, just a couple of other tips. Try and find a consistent time that you do this. It won't always be perfect, but do your best. And then make sure you have fun with it. It's something that your kids will remember um, in the days and weeks and months to come. It's something that they will cherish for years. They will remember this time with you. So um, please, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And if you've got something really, really great that your family has stumbled upon that works well for you, please share that. Comment in this video below and share those tips with each other. We are a community of faith. We, we grow together. Our worship is about that relationship, again, with, with God, with other people. 
and we grow from learning from each other as well. So drop those comments of things that work for you and I will be praying for you as you guys develop this habit of worship in your home. So God's peace.